Today I'm going all the way to Sweden for the Nordic Cosplay Championship, a competition that I'm not even allowed to win. However, while I cannot win a trip to Japan, there is one award I'm allowed to win. Audience choice. But what will a European audience think of an American? Why aren't I allowed to win? And what will it be like to be the first American to compete in the NCC? But first I gotta thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. From the graphics in my videos, to the backgrounds for performances, to my actual patterns, almost everything I do for cosplay starts in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to master it too, Skillshare is a good place to start. This class on mastering Adobe Illustrator will walk you through 10 new tips and tricks to maximize your efficiency and creativity. I think it's the perfect class for anybody trying to become Lord of the Anchor Points. But Skillshare has classes on everything from fine art to productivity to social media. So no matter what you're trying to learn, Skillshare can help. And once you are Lord of the Anchor Points, remember Skillshare has tons of creative career focused classes too. So you can learn a new skill or perfect one you already have and build it into the creative career of your dreams. And the first thousand people to use the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So check out that link to start your new creative journey today. Thanks so get to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's go back to Sweden. After two days of delays, planes, airports, and cars, we arrived in Linköping, where Narcon Smar and the NCC are held. I was supposed to get there on Wednesday, but a thunderstorm in New York caused a whole lot of flight delays, so we ended up not being able to get there until Thursday, which was bad because that was the day I did my interview. In the NCC, each contestant has an interview play prior to their performance, so after being awake for 30 hours, I had to dress up for the camera and talk about Miku. But after the interview, I finally got some sleep. Good morning. It is now Friday and I slept like a baby, thank God. The only thing I have to do for NCC today is go to my slow rehearsal, which is basically just like get on the stage. And I think they let us do it a couple times. So today I mostly just get to see Narcon. Never been to anything like this before. And before I came, I watched lots of like vlogs of people going. Some of them scared me. There is a thing here. We're obviously in a hotel room. They've put us in a hotel, um, but also, there is also a thing called the sleeping halls, which is like what appears to be like a gymnasium of the university where people are in fact all sleeping together in one giant gymnasium on the floor. And when I saw that, I was like, do I have to sleep on the floor of a gymnasium? <laughs> But no, and honestly, I could see myself doing that if I like lived here and didn't travel so far. In my early 20s and I was rad still, I can see myself doing that, but I'm turning 29 on Saturday, so this old lady needs a dang dang hotel room, but I'm so excited. So we headed over to the con and I got my first look at Narcon Samar. Oh, oh wow. Look at this! <laughs> so Narcon is held at Linköping University, but it isn't like a college con. It's not run by the university. Narcon rents out the campus to hold the con. Before I came, I had it described to me as like, it's a con and then it's a little bit of a festival and then it's kind of like a Ren fair, and it totally was. It was super duper cool. This is so cool. Everybody's outside, the weather's nice. Everybody told me it was gonna be hot and it's like beautiful and lovely. There's like booths outside. It is like a Ren fair. Oh, they got like a whole booth of snacks. Look at all the tents, balloons. There's so few people who probably even know what chili Or lanterns, bubble waffles. Look at all the little, their food uh, trailers. We are going to go see the unicorn. It is right there. <laughs> I love it. So this is Sweetie Candy. Hi. When I found out I was going to Narcon, I looked up vlogs. Her vlogs were the first ones that came up and so I watched a bunch of them. I do many, many vlogs at Narcon. So if you want to see lots more Narcon, there's lots here from, are you from Sweden? Yes. Yeah, so we have a Swedish local. Yeah, yeah, man. And thank God for them because I had no idea what I was getting into. No. Are you staying at the sleeping I, house? Usually, yes, but right now I'm in a little house. But we also have camping if you want to go like dirt cheap. Like you can sleep outside? Yes. Oh, it's wow. It's a festival 
really festival esque. Like there's lots of tents right over there. Many many tents. That's so cool. Okay, but here's sweetie candy. Garfield is looking a little f***ed up. Sarah, where's Grimace? Grimace? Oh God, it's Grimace. Everybody get your shake. This is everyone taking a picture of the Grimace. Oh, can I introduce you guys yeah, to the sure. vlog? Okay, so this is Diana and Mike. Diana is? Uh, I'm the director of cosplay and main events at Holiday Mott Surrey. So I was the person who negotiated getting the NCC for the United States uh, at Holiday Mott Surrey. And I'm her assistant. And Mike is one of our managers for cosplay. And, and you I, were Team World Cosplay Summit USA? Uh, yes. Which I year? I was Team USA in 2016, and I was the organizer in 13, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Yeah. And you're helping me. Diana's yes. probably gonna lace my corset on Saturday. We're gonna make sure you have the best time. We're going to the dealer's room, which is in what I called see husset but what is it again? Husset. <laughs> it's husset. See husset. This is cool. Ooh, what's in here? This is cool. It's like a whole little store inside the con. Ooh, don't see alpacas. Oat bag, wigus. Bunny turtles. Not quite an alpaca. Oh, those are cute though. <laughs> oh my god. A hamster and a banana. Oh my god. Wait, a hamster and a strawberry. Hamsters and assorted fruits. Oh, it's kitty. Big, long kitty. <laughs> Big, it was just like kitty. We're going to go to my rehearsal now. I get to dance on the stage. Woo. The artist alley was pretty cramped. I don't think we got to see all of it. And also some of that was the dealer's room, right? Yes, there's more artist alley. I hope that I unicorn finds his way to the other unicorn. We got over to the rehearsal stage for my rehearsal and mine went pretty well. Uh, other than my glasses falling off right at the start. Diana just walks up to me and she goes, can you film him eating something? <laughs> so I guess we're gonna film Mike eating something. What about this? Yeah, you take one. What, what is it? Yeah, you just eat it. Just eat it. it there's, it defies explanation. Oh. Ah. Uh, can you smell it? Ah, uh, you can feel it with your soul. It's kind of hard. That's like a but salt, chewy. salt licorice nightmare that the Finnish people give you to pretend they're being friends with you. Oh, is this the international? Oh uh, yeah. It's kind of pleasant. Uh, Okay, this isn't bad. No, but I want to film you trying one. I don't want to eat one. What is, is it like a tart? It's, not, it's like licorice. It's like pretty hard though. So you have to like suck on it, chew on it? A little bit. Mm. Oh. Don't spit it out. No, I'm not going to spit it out. It's not bad. It's not bad. The first, the first bit of salt is very strange. No, it's, it's fine. No, yeah, no, it's actually not that bad after you get the first little okay. coating off. I'll eat it. I'll eat it too. Okay. It doesn't smell like anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the right pace for this. It tastes like nothing. You know what it tastes like? You know when you're a little bit sweaty and you lick the back of your hand? Yeah, it's it's just like, a, it's, yeah, I'm, that's a very, yeah, okay. And then it starts to taste a little. It's like salt, and then it just turns into like licorice, and just like, look. It's like a, a salty version of when you get like the the black gum drop. I can't do it. No, and nor should you. So after eating the strange Finnish licorice stuff, we went on a mission to get me a bubble waffle. Mission bubble waffle is a go find bubble waffle. I saw it, oh, it was that way. Her. We found the bubble waffle booth. We are going for it. Uh, it says swish or cash only. Operation bubble waffle might have been thwarted by not having any Swedish currency. Operation bubble waffle is on hold because we have to go to the convenience store and see if they have an ATM. And we didn't get any money converted because apparently most places in Sweden don't let you use cash. Okay, the update is that someone who is Swedish has offered to send the Swish for us. So she's like PayPal, I guess, but you have to be Swedish to use it. So it's Swedish. Lisa is one of the hosts. She's going to Swish to the stall. Yes. Once we're back and they've ordered and we're going to ask 
ahead if it's okay to do it. Okay. Because I don't want to be like, and they're gonna send it from another place and she's not here. Yeah. <laughs> so the the lady at the stand said that we can absolutely pay through somebody else, uh -huh. um, but we need to show her the, um, oh yes. We need to show her like the proof of payment, which Olivia just sent. Yay! Olivia took care of that. And you, get, she says, get the girl a waffle. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to try the waffle with ice cream. Operation Bubble Waffles is a success. So as a thank you to Olivia, I drew her and her wife in the cosplays they wore that day. Thanks again, Bubble Waffle Heroes. This is the international snacks table of which I have contributed cheese sits and dark chocolate Reese's, which are great. And the Reese's are apparently rare here and cheese sits are also pretty rare, apparently. We're trying to make it back over to the dealer's room before it closes. We have Munchie, Munchie Boy, Munchie Hoodie, Joe's Munchie Hoodie, and Keepa. This is, I don't think I've ever shown this properly, but this is, Joe's Munchie hoodie that I made for Christmas this year. Hockey shop. Hype. Anything that's like old school anime convention, like hockey obsession, I love it. Uh -huh. Well, I think I'm gonna go for, I think I'm gonna get the bunny. Yeah, just go, that was in this, that was yeah. in this aisle. So I wanna go fine. ahead and get something cause I know I'm not gonna be able to go here tomorrow. Was it in this one or is it different one? It was, it was on the left side. It was where, yeah, it was in here. So should I get the, the bunny turtle or the strawberry hamster? More your brand. I've never seen anything like the bunny turtle before. That's true. Do I get the green one or the blue one? Mm. I think I like the green one because I have green eyes. Do that then. That's a good okay. reason. Thank you. Bunny turtle. The bunny turtle is in tow. Now we're gonna go back outside. But look how cool this is. We got Slender Man up in here in 2023. Love it. Yes! Thank you so much. Okay, you see the sky? Here's the time, and here's the sky. Sweden, y'all. Arctic Circle almost. Well, we've had a very, very good day at Narcon. This has been so fun. It's just so cool, and outside, tomorrow is gonna be a little less fun because I have to be in cosplay all day, and Miku is not comfortable, but I get to perform on my birthday. We're gonna go back to the hotel for the night now. So, good night, Narcon. Here's my Swedish coffee. It's very strong. And they don't have Splenda here, but I've got Splenda in my pockets. Today is Miku day. And I've got my nails on. I did them first this time. But my prejudging is not until 3 o'clock. It's like 11. So... I get to take my sweet ass time and do my makeup. I'm doing my makeup a little bit differently than I did last time. So hopefully it goes well and doesn't look weird. Also, it's my birthday. I am a 29 year old lady today. Yay. And it's July 29th and I'm turning 29. So it's my golden birthday. Yay. Also, my birthday is a little cursed. My birthday has always been a little cursed because my birthday is at the end of July. What happens is people are always on vacation at the end of July. And this has been a theme throughout my entire life that I'll really wanna have a birthday party and then no one shows up. But I'm gonna treat the NCC like it's my birthday party today. And I think lots of people are going to show up. So hopefully the birthday curse doesn't mess anything up. Later, Diana is coming and she's gonna stay here and help me get into the costume. She will, she will be pins. She will play Pins' role. She will be the utensil drawer this time. We have Pins in spirit. We have Pins rooting us on from across the world, for sure. But yeah, my makeup is gonna be very different. Um, I'm actually going to block my brows because I'm gonna do like a smaller brow up here. But after prejudging, we have like a photo shoot thing and then we do another rehearsal and then there's the stage. So I'm gonna be in this for a while. And I have to try to ride in a car in this. Hopefully she can ride in the car. Makeup time. I did makeup tests, but I didn't do it this way. Also, I already lost four nails. We'll get them back on. 
Ignore the tape on my head. It will be covered by the wig, but who the f is that? Your issue. <laughs> oh, Diana's here now. Can I show you? Diana's. I know her. <laughs> She's so gorgeous. Diana's got some hand sewing, and Diana's gonna help me get in. I like it, looks a little crunchy, but like. Diana walked in and said they'll see it from space. And that was the goal. There we go. Mm -hmm. I was gonna, if I could have won, I would have remade the hoop skirt because it, it was such a problem. Mm -hmm. I have friends who have done the World Cosplay Summit and they have won the World Cosplay Summit. Or like, the, not one, they, they've uh, placed for like the Brother Award and some of the insides of their costumes are good enough. Mm -hmm. Like they do the thing. This one's definitely rough on the inside. Most of mine are rough on the inside. Some of them are lovely. Josef Georges. I wish I had better Spanish education. I wish I could speak any other language. I don't want to wear Japanese and it's so hard. I'm not good enough. 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 <laughs> it's a lot to keep track of. It is. It is. It's a lot of a costume. And, I, and it's not intuitive to me is the big problem. Mm -hmm. I have to be told every little thing about this stuff. Yeah. He's gotten a lot better at the course of it now. Hold this. This metal thing on my head is painful though. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's... Oh, it's perfect. Okay, cool. It's, this is just one of those cosplays that's f***ing impossible to keep track of by yourself. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of parts. Somehow, I'm all the way in Sweden in my biggest cosplay. And I'm gonna go get prejudged soon. And then I'm gonna get to dance on a stage. And my lipstick is super fed up, but I'll fix it. Alrighty. Yep. All right, let's go do this. We're going. We're doing it. Elevator time. 243, We did it. My thing's at 255. We are a good 10 minutes ahead. My head hurts already. <laughs> Her just is so bad. <laughs> prejudging. That's not really prejudging because I can't win. <laughs> I went in assuming that this prejudging would be like most prejudgings here in the States where you get like two minutes. So I was rapid firing off Miku explanations when I was told that I could slow down because... When oh, I... you're going too fast. You have 20 uh -huh. minutes. Uh -huh. yeah. You I have 20, 20 minutes. You have 20 minutes. minutes. You can breathe. So, and yes. Breathe. <laughs> Uh, it's fine to move around in. Yeah. It's very, very heavy. Um, but you'll see when I'm on the stage. Uh, you've seen me dance yeah. in it before, and you have too. It, uh, it, the, the biggest feat is that I can dance in it. Yeah. And it stays on my body. But other than that, it went well. I mean, there wasn't really any pressure because I couldn't win anyway, so this was more of like a mock trial thing to just have the judges see it so they could give me feedback later. But you know, it's it's always fun to explain your cosplay to people in the community that you respect. It's it's always really cool, especially when it's Yaya Han. <laughs> okay, so I have a new thing to keep the wig on because the new dance has a lot of jumping and it's a metal ring. And every time I've worn it at home, it has been fine. Um, but today I've had it on since this morning and I think I put one too many clips in there. I had the worst headache. Pressure headache, yeah? I had, a, I had a pressure headache so bad that I felt like I was gonna throw up. And I was talking to Glenda to try to make myself feel better because she's so pretty. And she made me feel a little bit better, but then I started to feel like I was gonna throw up. Uh, so we got that off and I just have the wig on. So if I started to dance right now, the wig would fly off, but we'll get that on later and try to make it not hurt my head. I ended up never putting it back on that day. We ended up just pinning the crap out of the wig later. But anyway, after my photo shoot, we had a photo shoot with everyone else in the competition. And this was super cool because it was really the first time we all got to see each other all in cosplay and really get to sort of talk to each other for a second. It was just really magical. The, the best part of competing is getting to talk to fellow makers and it's extra special to get to talk to so many that live so far away. And there were so many amazing techniques that are like, not really allowed in the states like i was talking to the friendly viking who is cosplaying ned stark and he was telling me about how he forged his swords like they're real swords like made of metal like we're not allowed to do that in the states 
But when the photo shoot was done, we went back to the room and replaced the crown with a thousand U pins. And so hopefully it'll be fine. But now we gotta go to rehearsal. And if it doesn't work with rehearsal, then I'll put my metal ring back on. Joe, and this makes sense in context that there is a Ned Stark. Joe called my, my, uh, my metal ring a crown fit for a king. That's not the quote. I'm gonna try though. What was the quote? It's a crown for a king. That's what Carl Drogo says, is, is it not? Thanks. Or... Thanks, Game of Thrones, man. Team USA. Woo. Team Miku. Yeah. I am red, white, and green. You know, good enough. Close okay. enough. And then it was time to head over the con. And yep, Miku did fit into the car. Once we got over there, it was dress rehearsal time. So I got my first look at the performances, including Team Spain's iconic, incredible abs of steel with this very long plank. I thought I was going to do the most athletic thing on the stage, but no, Spain takes the cake. We stand the Spain plank. So the thing about the Observer Nations not being able to win, I was not the only Observer Nation. Me and Team Spain were both the Observer Nations, and the general explanation was sort of to see if the qualifying convention was up to standard, to see if the contestants that come over from that country are up to the same standard. But there were a couple people at the con that I talked to that seemed like they thought that that rule wasn't super fair. I'm not going to be one to say if it is or isn't fair. I don't, I don't know what it's like to run an international competition, but Observer Nations 2023, Team USA, and Team Spain we did the most athletic stuff up there, and I think we did both of our countries proud. And then it was my turn. Cosplaying as the number one princess in the world. From USA, Sarah Spaceman. And I won't show you this skit right now, but uh, for some reason, I didn't ask for them to do this. Halfway through the skit, they hit me in the face with the smoke machine. Like, I'm jumping up and down in a 30 pound costume. So we got off the stage and had to be like, she's doing aerobic exercise in a 30 pound costume. Do not throw the smoke machine at her. I have to set this next part up because I didn't know this was about to happen. So I didn't get the lead up on camera. But so in the NCC, when they do the awards, they call everyone back on the stage, right? And so we were doing stage practice of the awards ceremony. After everybody got up on the stage and they did the little practice, this happened. It's birthday today! Woo! So, uh, because it's our birthday, we, uh, I got together with all the contestants here, and we have all gotten you a little something, a little snack or something from our home countries. And we have also, of course, a card which everyone here has signed for you. <laughs> So here is your your boss, <laughs> and and I want everyone here to uh, join me and sing Happy Birthday for Sarah. Happy Birthday to you. It's Elsa Bacolard. Oh, it's snacks. Snacks from Spain. From Finland. Sorry for crinkled envelopes. What is this? Cherry? Is this alcohol? It looks like alcohol. <laughs> I think it's alcohol. That's not allowed here. Ooh, it's a fish. It's a fish. That's cute. 20 minutes to showtime. I need to fix my lipstick. My head hurts, but you know, we're doing it. Joe's taking the camera. I love him, but he's not a cameraman, so I have to trust him. Here's the man of the hour. He's got to do it. He can do it. I believe in him so much. I can do it. I believe in you. You can do it. Eric is in here. I think Eric can go out with you. Eric is going to be in charge of the 360. Here's the camera crew. I'm no longer that character. Hey. There they go. We're gonna get what we can get. The crux of the vlog is leaving. Well, apparently there's a lot of people out there from what it sounds like. Here's the backstage area. This is probably the last time I'll be here. 
So this is it. Here's our little lounge area where they fed us and we've hung out with people and it's been lovely. Here's the snacks again. A couple people ate the Cheez-Its. Ooh, lots of people ate the Reese's. We've made it backstage. They're doing like a, like a walk-on thing, but apparently there's a big crowd out there. So that's cool. What did you just say? It's I, I, I get it. I get Cheez-Its. Thank you. Yeah, because it's America's favorite snack. And anybody who says otherwise is it's that. It's a cheese cracker that barely tastes like cheese. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Just be careful. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. They're barely cheesy. They're great. They're my favorite. They're when you have when you're sick. The sun's going down ish. I mean, that's going down for here. It's almost time. They're up there doing the stuff. With everyone in their places backstage and the Swedes converted to cheese it stands, my bubble waffle heroes took the stage. Let the Nordic Cosplay Championship begin! <laughs> I will admit, after so much awful travel, like, I, I downplayed it, like, the flight delay was actually really heartbreaking and I might have had a little breakdown at the airport. So by the time I got to Ling Xiaoping, I was thinking, was all this stress even worth going through if I can't even place? But what I love most about competing is getting to talk to other makers and see their creations up close, and it wasn't until Saturday that I really got to do that. 24 hours of travel will make me question any decision, but seeing what the contestants of the NCC brought to that stage, having the honor of sharing it with them made all of that travel worth it. And yeah, I, I can't win this competition, but like in any competition, you can't always be the best but you can always do your best. To me, you can represent how music can connect us all despite cultural differences or even language differences. And I want my performance to connect us all under the same strawberry sun. So here's my best. Okay, obviously I can't play the music, but I chose to do a performance to the song Because You're Here. And I chose it because of this lyric. Even if the world looks at me with weird eyes, if you understand me for just a little, then all the hopes and dreams I couldn't achieve because I was such a coward will turn into music. Even if I'm not loved, it's okay. If you're here, I'm still able to sing. It's all right. Even when the fun party ends, if I can put a smile on your face, then forever, from right here, let me stay, Hatsune Miku. The background video does have some deeper meaning that I won't get into, but in general, the performance is about how I relate to that. And the short version is, thanks for being here.
might be in the middle of summer now, but our next contestant would like to announce that winter is coming. The friendly Viking. We got this, darling. Okay. Thank you. Honestly, all I think was catch the floor. With my performance done, there was only one team left before the awards, and his was quite the head turner. Everybody's heart tonight is the one, the only, Baroni Cosplay. <laughs> Next, we have the second runner up, a truly authentic presentation of a stage costume. Third place goes to Ameno. of the Nordic Cosplay Championship goes to the Friendly Viking. The winner of the Nordic Cosplay Championship 2023 is Saroni <laughs> So I couldn't win any of the regular awards, but I could win audience choice, and I was gunning for audience choice, and I did not win audience choice. That said, I saw the winning, uh, both, the, both the first place and the audience choice winning skit during rehearsals, and it was amazing. And that costume is amazing, and they absolutely deserve to win both of those awards. That costume deserved to win, okay? And I'm really proud of the winners. But yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. But I met a bunch of amazing cosplayers. I got to perform on an international stage and I got to meet wonderful people all weekend and experience a con unlike anything I have ever experienced before. You can't always be the best, but you can do your best. And I caught that goddamn fork. So I did my fucking best. I, th I think where I'm going with this is, it's okay to be sad when you lose. It's okay to be upset. And also you being upset does not and should not take away from the people that won, but it is also okay that you're sad that the circumstances weren't in your favor. Miku did not get audience choice NCC 2023, but I am the world's first. NCC Team USA. And I'm gonna wipe this makeup off my face now. And you know what, tomorrow, we get to spend the day in Stockholm. And that's gonna be fun. I might not have walked away with audience choice, but I left with some amazing memories and new friendships from people all over the world. I got a birthday surprise from a good witch. I got to explain what rednecks were to Team Spain on the way back to Stockholm. I got to explore Stockholm with Joe, and I made him cry. <laughs> and at the very end of the day, in the middle of the night, on the same day as the competition, I got a very special email telling me that a different dream had come true. I got an email that I was accepted into Holiday Matsuri's Idol Fest, which means come December, 
I will get to perform once again. Idolfest has been a dream of mine for a really long time, so that was the birthday surprise that I was really waiting for. So come see me dance in Florida if you can. And I owe a huge thank you to everyone that helped out. A huge thank you to the NCC staff for being so welcoming. A huge thank you to Diana and Mike for taking care of so much stuff for me. A huge thank you to Joe for helping filming so much. And Eric for being my 360 camera hero. Thanks to Linda for being the best panda. And a final thank you to my bubble waffle heroes. Oh, and thank you to Levi for the alpaca. And thank you to Shrimp from the Discord for the little grub. Thank you to Freya for the little picture. And thank you to all of the NCC contestants for my birthday card. This was so sweet and I will cherish this. I'm probably gonna frame this actually. Oh, and I have one more thing. I will be teaching classes at Dragon Con. So if you're interested, I have a link in the description for tickets. I have a basics of sewing class for anybody that's never sewn before. I have a witch hat making class we're doing and I'm doing a custom corset patterning class. You do need a ticket. It's not included in the Dragon Con membership price. It's not a panel, it's a paid workshop, but all materials and tools are provided. So check that out too. And if you wanna support the channel directly, you can check out my Patreon where you'll get some exclusive content. But if you're just watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, or sending the video to your friend or your mom or subscribing, then you're supporting the channel too. So thank you. Thanks on me, for watching. Bye. <laughs> Thank you to the patrons, Red Rover Dose, Peste at Cholera, Darian, Grassy Peppers, Tiny Wyvern, Polite Crow asking if you might kindly open the bins for a little rummage, Bee Man, Elias Locke, Lotta Bees, Opal Orchard, Tara Roth, Ray Zach, Sophie, Savannah, Hime Dairy Cosplay, Cookie, Honeybean, Brittany, Lena, Butter, Shelly, Lay, Gordon Nora, Lollipop Jester, Marshy, Maria, Kelly, Spooky Kitsune Cosplay, Luxtris Cosplay, Jennifer, Lily, Lunar Lepus Cosplay, Sherry, Hadil, No Roman, LOL, Katie, Amai, Jelly, Lady Blue Cosplay, Hania, Fake Smiley 7, Sebastian, Amar, Simrel, Matcha Kit Kat, Walter Dyer, Stephanie, Mo, Joe Dai, Coco Nuts, Night Wolf, Bingus Owl, Alora Polaris Cosplay, Aaron, Tamaki Potato, Gabby Bear, Jesse Chu, Renee J, Corsetry, Sarah, Kiwi Kikos, Another Zip Tie, Hazel, Alec, Jenny, Lady Senchi, Rambulan Cosplay, MT, Gret, Jenna, Constance, Rory, Astra, Fox, Kimberly, Tam Tam, The Taylor, Ray Sparks, Nanaru, Legfish, Amanda, Connie, Paul, Joby, GT Cosplay, Zihibi, Cal, Sansuffle, Flair, Claudia, Katie, Allison, Queen Platypus, Foxy McLoxy, Taylor, Tessa Bo, Shell, Alyssa, Melissa, Akima Aki, Chibi Lease, Rainbow Lola, Gloom Shroom, Miba, Sephestra, Kelly, Hubasta, Magda, Chai, Alba and Brent, Sleepy Ellie, Audrey, Ben, Spacey Stitches, Sunny, Kokuyumi, Skasa, Ariana, Articus, the Thai Golf, Minor, Food Penguin, Emmy Jade, Alyssa, Katie, Experimental Blue, Toby, Shellman, Alice, Rebecca, Slushpuff, aka Corncopy, Avandaria, Samantha, Faybound, Adriana, Amber, Kim, Saigni Cosplay, Block Kitty DJ, Meredith, Taylor, Sarah, Cowbones, Lunar, Gaia, Lula Rush Cosplay, Marcy, So Into Music, Julian, Cam, Zen, Andrew, Pin, Snip, and Claire. Ooh.